CCS and Azra. What a blast. What's up, guys? My name is Wyatt. I'm um, number 700 in CCS and Azra uh, for 2021. This is my YouTube channel. We're going to talk a little bit about the races that I went through. This is my first weekend um, up at Summit Point with CCS. If you guys want to skip to the races, you can just go to the clips down below. Um, it'll all be time stamped. And just know that the GoPro overheated in two of the three races. So, But uh, other than that, I'm just going to talk a little bit about my first weekend and how it compares to track days and moto gladiator so stick around all right so it's sunday um not the greatest weather uh, the previous day saturday would have also been practice um all day but it was raining and didn't really feel like swapping to rain tires uh, i didn't need to learn the course i know summit main pretty well uh, i just needed to break off the rust before qualifying so today I'm out riding, doing practice. Uh, the weather, like I said, isn't great, but we got some grip and I can run slicks without sliding everywhere. So Memorial Day weekend was a three day event. Saturday, all day practice, but it was bad conditions. So I didn't go out. Sunday, uh, CCS races and qualifying for Azure races that were on Monday. And then Monday was more CCS races and the Azure races. I participated in an Azra race and two CCS races, all of which were held on Monday. Oh, and uh, by the way, the number plate and the stickers on my bike, made by my friend's wife, Anna, uh, link to her store is in the description. Being that it was so cold and just a little damp, the warm-up lap was pretty slow, so let's go to something a little more. There we go. This is just practice, uh, but you gotta understand, I'm practicing one big thing right now, and that's not being so nice. You see, I have a friend that told me in a lot of the videos that I made, one of the biggest things is I treat races like they're a track day. Since I did track days for so long, I try to maintain distance between me and the other riders, even on passes, and I give up a lot of passes and positions that I could take by just being too nice. So one thing I'm trying to get better at is getting out of that mentality, taking the close passes and not being afraid to rub shoulders or trade a little paint. All right, so going out for qualifying, I noticed that there was a lot of 1000s. <laughs> Also, there's no 600s. I might be in the wrong qualifying class. Nothing too crazy happened in the beginning of qualifying, so let's just... And then as we're going around the track, this... And then this... Is that Stefano Mesa? That's Stefano Mesa. All right, so after taking a trip up to registration, I find out I was in the wrong class. Uh, I made the mistake of registering for the wrong class. That's on me. 
After fixing the registration problem, went back to tech, got the correct sticker, and now was going out racing without qualifying. <laughs> Amateur middleweight super sport starting from the back of the grid. It's my first race of the day. I need a good launch. Not bad, but not great. position somewhere in the teens. seen one but then he goes wide so I get the drive onto the exit coming onto the straight Jesus it's moves like that that make people call amateur the meat grinder breaks into turn one. I'll remember that.
alley that late braked went wide for a pass just now. I'm going to be able to get around both of them, but I know he's going to try to take me into turn one. Yep, there he is. There's his wheel. Not today. Not today. See that thing up, up in the tower in the top right, uh, the checkered flag? Yeah, I, I didn't see that. So I'm drag racing this guy and I'm going for it. A little bit too much. <laughs> it for the first race um i ended up 10th so that's 15 passes in seven laps not bad two passes a lap on average all right so this is race six azra sport bike experts and amateurs launch together experts launch first once they get to the first turn amateurs launch i'm starting the very back of the grid <laughs> start.
at you this time. single pass. My old friend and coach Alberto used to tell me that I worked way too hard for passes, used way too much energy, so I decided to play some time. off. I held that outside line on the sweeper so that when we entered the chicane, he couldn't change sides faster than I could.
that's it. GoPro overheated and just stopped recording. It just shut off, almost like the battery died. Ended up fifth in that race. Um, really fought for it in the end, too. It's really unfortunate that the GoPro didn't get it, but... Also, this was the race that I should have been able to qualify for, but I signed up for the wrong class, so I started in the back. So having so many overtakes, I really think I could have been fighting for a top spot. All right, so in my mind, it's all been coming down to this. This is the Rookie Cup. Um, the Rookie Cup has actually ran a lot like Moto Gladiator. Uh, we have 1000s, 600s, and the little bikes all on the same grid. Um, no qualifying, it's all based off registration time. Uh, the 1000s start in front of the 600s, 600s start in front of the little bikes. up to the 1000s with me all right but then he gets stuck behind a couple of slower riders all right so this is the first time during the race i've seen all the bikes in front of me i now know i'm in sixth Let's go. Another spot, that's four. Okay, so from here on out, I'm very aware that it's all 1000s in front of me. That means I'm not gonna be able to pass on the exit most of the time. I'm gonna have to get them entering the turn. I hold that outside line again and block the inside of the chicane. That's P3.
nothing I can do on the straights against the 1000s. of the race for some reason the video feed just cut out when i actually got to look at the gopro after the race it was all reversed colors like it had been inverted whatever the case is um i fought really hard at the front of the pack and against 1000s and ended up getting second by just a hair my wife recorded at the finish line watch I ended up winning the race against my own class, but the problem with the Rookie Cup and Moto Gladiator alike is that you're racing against bikes that are much faster than yours, so although you may win your class, someone not as fast as you can still win overall. It's just not as gratifying. I actually led the race for about a lap and a half, which was pretty awesome. Trying to hold off the 1000s was crazy hard, though. So, would I recommend going to a CCS weekend? Absolutely. I love track days. and They're a great place to learn your form and your bike and even just learn tracks. And you, you can never stop learning. And you don't need to be racing to go at a pace to learn. That's definitely not true. But that being said, my average lap time at Summit Point was about 21.5 before the CCS weekend. Now my average lap time is around 119, about a second and a half improvement. That's that's quite a bit. And I reached my personal best of a 118.5. There's something to be said for the mentality of racing and definitely shaving some seconds off your time. So that was it for my first CCS weekend. Uh, I got a top 10, a top five, and a win in my class. Uh, couldn't have had a better time. Got to meet a, a lot of good people. Got to go the fastest I've ever gone on my R6. So the next CCS race I'll be at is Summit Point um, in a couple weeks from now. Uh, of course, I'll make another video and cover those races. Probably do individual videos for each race next time because this one ran really long. Thanks for running through the whole thing with me. And uh, I'll leave you guys with some clips and pictures from this weekend. But see you guys next time. Sit back, table's not far from all.